Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and I welcome you all to Power App Step by Step Tutorials for Beginners. This is the new segment where we are going to learn Power Apps Canvas app from the scratch. And this series is totally focused for the beginners. So before we move forward, let me just give you a little bit introduction about me. Myself Dhruvin Shah and I am a Microsoft MVP and Microsoft Certified Trainer. I am a Power Platform Specialist and part time I am working as a YouTuber and blogger. I love to share my content on the YouTube, that's why I am doing this activity. Currently I am working as a Power Platform Practice Lead in one of the reputed company and mostly I am handling the consultation projects. I have published 700 plus videos on my YouTube channel so far and I have conducted 70 plus live webinars and sessions so far. I have trained over 5000 plus people across the globe specifically in Power Apps area. And develop, I have a hands-on experience for develop hundreds of organization or industrial apps. And currently, I am living in India, Gujarat. If you are looking for any consultation or training, the website link is available on my channel homepage. Always submit your query there and connect me for any consultation work. So without further talking about me, let me just get started and talk about why I have developed this course. Basically, I developed my first Power Apps beginner series with the SharePoint as a data source in the year of 2020. Based on this series, I received lots of feedback. People are requesting the content with the Dataverse and Power Apps. Also, that series was that popular that so far, 1 lakh plus viewers has fought that series and they have started that Power Apps journey as a developer. So, this new course is basically revamp of the existing course. If you wanted to learn Power Apps with the SharePoint as a data source, just visit my older course. Or if you wanted to get the capability of Dataverse with Power Apps, then this is the perfect match for you. This course is totally designed for the beginners. Over here, for the advanced concept, I already developed many series on my YouTube channel. I have a model driven app series. In future, I am going to develop some Power Pages series. Also, I have a series on Power BI, Power Automate, AI Builder and much more. You can always check the playlist from my YouTube channel for the more new courses. And this course is 100% free as always, as my first series was also 100% free and many people taken advantage of it. The same I am following with this new series. All the videos are available at a zero cost and developed with the purpose of free education for all. Because I personally believe that sharing is caring and whatever you learn, if you just get back to your community, you will get more and more from it. And your blessings and likes on this video is the fee for me. So please support my channel. Please hit thumbs up on this video and please share this series with your friends and family. So that's the only thing I want from you guys. So without further talking about this, let's get started and talk about the overall course outline. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, please do follow me because Instagram and Twitter are the platform where I'm sharing the short content on Power Platform. So don't miss the Instagram and Twitter subscription. So let's get started with the overall course outline. So at this moment, I have divided this overall course into 22 different categories. But in future, if I will add new videos, you can always check the playlist link as well as the link will be available in the description box. So check the description box for the latest information. So first of all, let's get started with the overall course outline. So in the first video, we will be talking about what is Power Apps and then we will talk about how we can get started with the Power Apps development process. And if someone is new, they are not aware about how to create the developer account for Microsoft 365. So I am going to show you the step by step procedure for it. After that, we will be talking about how we can set up the environment and solution for the Power Apps. Because to build the enterprise level application, you always need to go aware about the environment and solution. So I am going to give you the detail overview about these two things. After that, we will be talking about what is Canvas app and how we can get started with the Canvas app. We will be talking about two most important concepts in the Canvas app, which are variables and collections. So we will be talking about that in the sixth and seventh part. After that, we will be taking a real life example of Leave application system. We will be building our first Canvas app for Leave application system. When we develop 
any real life application we need to store data in the backend system and for that we are going to dataverse as a backend system and for this example i am going to use microsoft dataverse so first we will take an overview what is dataverse and after that we will create the dataverse table schema once the table creation process will be completed we will be connecting those tables inside our power apps canvas app and then on top of that we will be developing our new form and edit form and obviously when we develop the form we need to provide some grid mechanism as well and grid is something which we need with the advanced features which are enterprise ready features so in the grid basically we will be using the gallery control data table control we will try to identify the difference between gallery and data table and after that we will be talking about filtering searching and sorting feature in the canvas app and at last we will be talking about roles in power apps canvas app because in leap application there are two different role one is a regular employee and another is manager so how we can define those role into canvas app we will see and after that we will be publishing the canvas app and share the canvas app with the rest of the users so this is the overall goal for this session after completing all of this session you will be ready to build your first corporate or organization app so stay tuned with me till the end so without further delay in the next episode let's start with the power apps If you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel if you are looking for any consultation the website link is available on the top right corner so just check that thing and connect me over there and don't forget to follow me on my twitter instagram all the social media handle links are available in the description box so with this this is Truvin signing off see you in the next video of power apps introduction